Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Annette Kimeu. I would like to welcome you to Liberty Christian Center Youth Service Online Platform. Karibuni sana 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 from the comforts of your home, ukwapale living room, seated somewhere on the couch, in your bed. Karibuni sana to the presence of the Lord. Uh, this is our first online service will be having a different kind of a service to be a panel discussion and right before we delve into the discussion i'd like us to pray so let's take a moment and uh, go to, into the presence of the lord and dedicate this service so shall we father in the name of jesus i come before your presence this wonderful afternoon i thank you for this platform that you have given us oh god to speak to the young people the young voices my god and we pray, my Father, that even as we discuss that King of Kings, the words we speak will have power. Oh God, we pray that we will not speak of our own knowledge, but King of Kings, it will impact our minds, oh God, to speak to a young person seated somewhere, my Father. I pray that even as we discuss this, my Father, our life will be changed, our life will be impacted, my God, for the nations. We bless you, and Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence into this place. Guide our thoughts, O oh God, and guide our words. We bless you, and we honor your name. It is in Jesus' name we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen, 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 amen. amen. and amen. amen. All right. Sour, sour. Now, uh, as we start our, our discussion today, uh, I think we all know that we are in a very peculiar season, a time that none of us expected would be coming. And uh, I think I just look back and see all the plans I had made for 2020. I mean, I'm not the person who makes a lot of uh, resolutions, but this year I tried. And the one year that I try is the one year that, as in everything, just overturns. I don't know if it's the same for you guys. Yep, yep. And uh, I know uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of uncertainty, and that's why we are here. And uh, our discussion today will be around how life has changed for us the, as the young people uh, in, the, in light of this pandemic that has, uh, that has come our way, mm. the, this COVID-19 thing, this coronavirus thing. Mm. Sawa, sawa. And uh, with me here are my very, very, very qualified. Yeah? Very qualified. <laughs> I wish we could start here and start saying all the accolades, but we will not go into that. I'll let them introduce themselves from my far left, and uh, they'll tell you who they are and anything else they would like to say. Dr. Ari Karibu. Thank you so much. Uh, praise God. Amen. Uh, Amen. Greetings out there and welcome uh, to our lovely uh, uh, afternoon. And my name is Dr. Victoria Mudoki. I work in Kijabe Hospital and I'll be uh, giving uh, information concerning health matters and social issues. Karibu sana. Asante sana, Dr. Yes. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Yeah, my name is Eric Wanjala and I'm happy to be here. Uh, in this fellowship, uh, I serve here, I teach Sunday school, and I also serve with the youth ministry as the chairman. So, thank you so much, and Karibu. Asante sana bwana chairman. Oh, praise God, everyone. Uh, good to see all of you. I know we've not interacted for a long while. Yeah, my name is Faith Mutisia. I am born again, and I serve in this church. I mean, the youth uh, in the present worship and as well as a youth leader. And I'm so delighted to be here to discuss on this COVID-19. We won't say it messed us up. We would say it has given us time to reflect on who we want to be. Okay. Karibuni sana. Amen. All right. Karibuni sana. And uh, our panelists, eh? I want to begin with just a general question. And uh, very quickly, without taking a lot of time, I'd want you to just generally paint for us a picture. How has COVID-19 changed um, the normal flow of things as we used to know them? So I'll start with you, Faith, very briefly. How generally how has it affected the lives of the young people? Uh, I would say, like, uh, one, the young people are known to be very, uh, very active and uh, people that like to have this social life. One, it has really had a toll on them on that because mm -hmm. uh, we'd want to meet in church and say how we are doing. Yeah. It's, it's not been the same. Mm -hmm. Again, in terms of uh, jobs, you know, uh, they are not able to, most of them have lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. Others, their businesses have gone down. They have had to close them up. And it's really been difficult, yeah. especially with their finances mm -hmm. and their social life. Yes. yes. Okay. All right, Dr. Ari. 
Uh, I think uh, for most youths, I think I can say, uh, as Faith has said, they they are really social, and therefore the point whereby you are to meet anybody on the street and just say hi to your neighbor, yeah. say hi to even people you didn't even know has mm -hmm. also been in, yeah. uh, somehow cut off because mm -hmm. of the fact that we are having social distancing. And I think the major thing that has really affected the youth during this time, I think, is also the working aspect, the career aspect, whereby even the schools have been closed, those who are in university, and some feel life is somehow on a stand still, mm -hmm. whereby life is not moving for them, school is not moving, work is not moving. So there's a bit of, um, I would say, maybe some pressure mm -hmm. uh, of what to do, and even in terms of where next and what God wants them for, to do in the next uh, few months as we tackle with the COVID-19 situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think uh, most of them, I think at this particular point is on what to do. Because mm -hmm. most of their life has come to a standstill sure. for most of the youth. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bona chairman? <laughs> now, in this digital world, yes. uh, there's something called factory settings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that is where this pandemic has taken us yeah. to. True. So mm -hmm. we are now back to uh, the basics. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at me carefully, people have been telling me, there's something different, mm -hmm. like right from my hair. <laughs> I didn't really believe that I could rear long hair like yes. this. Mm -hmm. And I've said, let me see how long it will go. Mm -hmm. Because I've just lacked the confidence to go to the barber because I don't know mm -hmm. how safe that uh, yes. might be. Yeah. So that one, it has actually affected me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has, you know, helped me also adjust. Yes. Because now I have to wake up in the morning knowing that I have to comp uh, <laughs> my hair. Mm -hmm. And again, just the basics of general cleanliness. You know, there are some things that we really used to take mm -hmm. them for, for, uh, for granted. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just washing hands. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, in the morning you leave the house, you accessorize. But nowadays when you get back to the house, you sanitize. Uh -huh. Yeah, to me that is something that has really <laughs> yes. changed the way I okay. operate. All right. But most importantly, mm -hmm. our social lives. Yes. It has uh, really changed. Mm -hmm. And I think we really need to adjust because this thing is here to, to stay. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't think you're going back to just greeting people the way we used to mm -hmm. or even hugging people or just interacting mm -hmm. anyhow. Sure. So that one we just need to, to, to prepare. Yes. I don't think there's any, any other way around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But uh, also more, uh, most uh, importantly, yes. uh, you know work. We are used to really working. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, everything is locked down. Yes. So can't uh, work normally the way I used to, so you have to really adjust all right, all right. to that. So to mm -hmm. that is uh, something that, okay. that's how I've been affected. All right. Yes. Aya, sawa, sawa. And I know there's so much more that maybe we have not touched on something that has been affected in your life, but hopefully throughout the, this, this discussion, we'll touch on something that hits very close to home. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, there, are very, there are various ways that this thing has really affected the young people. And I think the most glaring bit of it is the two aspects of the economic impact that it has had on the young people, mm -hmm. and uh, as well as the social impact that it, this thing has had on the young people. Mm -hmm. And now faith, yeah? Mm -hmm. And um, I know it's, it goes without say. I think the first, I remember when I first got my first job, my boss told me, uh, be very careful because the, the last the last entrance usually is the first exit. <laughs> and that means that yeah. since the young people are always the last, you're the last person to enter into yeah. an office. So when they're looking to downsize, you're the first person who will exit. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. Yeah. So we know that a lot of young people have lost their jobs, that they've been the first people to exit during this downsizing. There's, there's been a lot of pay cuts that, have, that, have, uh, that is still going on. So what can you tell young people that they can do to supplement their income? during this time? Um, one, I would say uh, it's a heartfelt thing that uh, people have lost jobs mm -hmm. and others have had to to have a forced leave <laughs> without pay. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. saddening. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that you are used to waking up in the morning, going, your, you know, you're going to work and mm -hmm. at the end of the month you're expecting to go to the bank and yes. get something. Mm -hmm. It's really saddening, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, we pray that the Lord will help us through that. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are so many uh, avenues. Though we are in, a, in an enclosed environment mm -hmm. or in an enclosed uh, moment, we are also privileged to be in a digital er era mm -hmm. where we, we can go to a bit of doing online, online jobs, mm -hmm. online um, courses that would help us earn 
are living mm-hmm. in uh in in the in this in in, in this time yes so i would tell a young person that mm-hmm. whole hope is not lost yes there's still there's still a chance for you to do an online job there i know there are several of them like you can do online online writing mm-hmm. uh, which really pay i've seen people really yeah. literally surviving on that yeah i've seen others do uh trans- transcribing yes. or say yeah where you are able to uh you are given an opportunity you are given a script and you mm-hmm. either translate it into another language or yes. you are you you write it you listen to the audio and then you write it mm-hmm. so there are several other opportunities that you can really venture in mm-hmm. all hope is not lost yes yeah so i think they can still we can still work out things mm-hmm. yes yeah all right sawa sawa and then um just before so that we don't lose the track of that mm-hmm. uh, just to touch on still on the finances we know that uh, we could we, we could be able to spend just on anything you know because you know at the end yeah. of the month kakifika pale 27 kuna i know what i'm waiting yeah. for you know yeah. so now what can you tell young people about budgeting generally okay so one i am very aware i i'm not i'm sure you're not the only one that you can really spend kwanza ukishalipwa mm-hmm. when you get that check it's and called uh, like end end month billionaires <laughs> <laughs> we are called end month billionaires yes you feel like you can feed the entire community yes yeah. <laughs> uh but it's unfortunate that most of people when they when young people most of us as young people when mm-hmm. we are when we are paid mm-hmm. all we think is about spending and that mm-hmm. dress you saw and you never bought mm-hmm. yes. and we forget about saving uh-huh. and if you have been saving congratulations yes. please don't utilize it if you have somewhere you can get other monies mm-hmm. for now because savings help you in such fixed moments mm-hmm. yes and you know mm-hmm. so uh in this moment mm-hmm. I, i i would tell young people mm-hmm. please don't spend everything you have yes. you don't need to buy a shoe yeah you don't need to buy a new dress that you saw mm-hmm. it's it, it's it's at that moment that mm-hmm. all you have utilize it well yes mm-hmm. utilize your your money's pay rent pay the ne- have the necessity things mm intact yes mm. make sure you've paid your rent and if you think you're that kind of a person that really spends you know spend thrift you would rather pay your three months rent at once mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know you are safe for the next three months <laughs> all right with, mm-hmm. with your you know mm-hmm. and another thing that mm-hmm. we so much overlook mm-hmm. is about uh, uh nhif and hospital bills yes. medical me- medical covers, uh, mm-hmm. covers. Yeah. yes please if you if you are in an insurance make sure you pay if you are not an insurance make sure you pay your nhif mm-hmm. it will help you all right mm-hmm. okay i think dr tari will also touch on that a bit when yeah. she's also telling us how we can manage our health better mm. and uh, i think <laughs> there's one clip very funny clip that was going around social media mm-hmm. and uh, it was of a child who was asking their mom who has seen their dad around the house so long they're like eh kwani this, this guy is not going to work <laughs> you know he's yeah. sitting on the couch just asking for food, eh? a million yes. rounds of food yeah. and this kid is asking the mom hey na daddy kwani squeeze na mom kwani daddy squeeze na ishi na sisi you know <laughs> and uh, this uh, says a lot about the family unit mm-hmm. uh not just within the church setup but just as a country mm. it's uh, the family fabric has really just really been torn apart mm. and um uh, this times as dr will be highlighting i want you to talk, to tell the young people i know especially when you're in your early early 20s mm-hmm. you have a mind of your own True. but you're still living under your parents roof mm-hmm. or a relative's roof mm-hmm. and uh, you want to to boss yourself around but that house has a boss mm-hmm. so how do people manage family relationships at mm-hmm. this time mm-hmm. okay uh, so basically i think as we all agreed uh, yes. this is a time of big adjustments and huge uh, negotiations within ourselves even as, as a family on how yes. things should go yeah. um as i think as a young person now we are basically under the roof of your parents or yes. your guardians yeah. or maybe you're staying with your siblings and you don't have the autonomy to do the things that you used to do when you were in campus or when you were living by yourself True. so at this point uh, i think it calls for us to readjust and ask ourselves uh, what is the greater benefit because at the end of the day you want to live in a place where there's it's peaceful because yeah. you don't want to add more stress in the covid season yeah. so you'd want to adhere 
I'm not saying basically we are in a military position, but yes. we are there to the rules of the house. Okay. Yes. Uh, and I think we mm -hmm. also know our parents, right? Or yeah. we know yes. our guardians, and we know yeah. the things that tick them off. We know the things that please them. Very yeah. true. So I think this is the time to exercise wisdom as mm -hmm. well, yes. and to be able to understand what are the things that we should be able to mm -hmm. do within the constraints of that family setup, mm -hmm. yes. so that we don't go beyond what is expected in that house. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you find a let's say maybe you are 25, 26 and you, you're living in your parents' house and they expect you to have moved out. Yes. They expect you, now that we are giving you some extended time in our house, at least do the things that we expect <laughs> uh, you to do. So yes. at least help in the help house, around. help in the dishes, yeah. like yes. wash, as in relieve them of the small duties that are in the house. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay, mm. sawa sawa. And mm. just before we go away from the from from family issues mm -hmm. maybe chairman yes. uh, just on a spiritual aspect of it mm -hmm. this would be a very important time yeah. uh, for fathers mm -hmm. to to really take uh, the position of priests in their homes yes. and to rebuild the family altar. Mm -hmm. So besides just family relationships what can you tell young people about family altars? Mm -hmm. Yeah now that is uh, really very very critical mm -hmm. and uh, these are difficult times mm -hmm. and so your spiritual nourishment is really very, very important. Yes. So in that family um, setup, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, of course there's the priest of yes. the home and that is, you know, uh, our fathers, which mm -hmm. some of us are really aspiring uh, mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you've not been playing that, that role, I think this time around, <laughs> it's difficult. You, 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 you've been caught. Yes. So you just have to really pray, uh, uh, play that, mm -hmm. uh, that role. Yeah. But most importantly, and uh, to young people, uh, fellowship uh, with the family. Okay. Uh, don't skive those, <laughs> you know, <laughs> moments when yes. people are in, praying. Yeah, time for praying. When people are in the city group yeah. praying, you you are busy somewhere, yes. you know, chatting and uh, on WhatsApp, uh, okay. Facebook. Mm -hmm. So even if you might not really uh, enjoy the moment, yes. but that is necessary for you. Okay. It is necessary for your survival. Mm -hmm. So when your family is praying, also join them yes mm. if you've got nothing to say just go there and keep quiet and listen okay mm. and uh, mm -hmm. you will be blessed yes uh, out of that all right so stick close to family fellowships do not run away yes like on sundays when you know uh, the, the the online service are, are, are being are being aired mm -hmm. and you know your family members are seated together in the sitting room yeah. please join them yeah it is part of fellowship True. but you're also communing uh with god yes so that is very very important do mm -hmm. not run away yeah. from family fellowships all right yeah. and i think uh, for me what i can just say uh to give a tip and this is especially to the to the heads of the families whether it's the mom the father whoever is around or a guardian or a sibling i'd say uh allocate duties mm -hmm. To every member of the family. Yes. So that way it's hard for them to escape family fellowship. <laughs> and you see, it you becomes fun as well. Exactly. Yes. It mm -hmm. becomes fun. So yeah. say today yeah. the father is going to be the usher. Yes. <laughs> you, you are going to collect offering. Today the mom will be the protocol person. Yeah. <laughs> like ensure everyone has a role. Yeah. So yeah. that... Uh, yeah. So that everyone is involved, because mm. I know young people get uh, tend to get bored mm. when they're just seated somewhere and yes. they don't have something to do. Mm. Yeah. Involve them around, yes. and I think uh, that way maybe they will be more excited mm. to be part of family fellowship. Yes. Yeah. Aya, sawa, sawa. Just to add on that, yes. um, I think also during this time is a time to also develop relations with our parents. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think now the fact that you are stuck in the house together. <laughs> you've got no option. You have got no option. But you have no option. Been seen. True. Uh, and I think it's a unique advantage. I think a very, very unique advantage to get to know your parents, mm -hmm. get to know your siblings, exactly. get to know the things that are actually going through. Because actually sometimes when we are in a house and you come and meet at 8 p.m., yes. you might never know what happens in very somebody's true. life yes. or the issues that are actually discussing yes. them. So it's yeah. a good time yeah. actually to become friends mm. with your parents, friends True. with your siblings. So I yeah. think it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah, because I, I think uh, you've touched on a very important thing. Yeah. I think for the last 10 years or so, I have not had soda or taken eggs. <laughs> and my father had no idea. So <laughs> very recently, I just served him. He's like, can I switch? I told him, I don't take soda. I have never taken soda for the last close to 15 I've years. Never known. I have never known. You see? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Thank you for staying tuned for the first part. We'll be right back after the musical break. Nina Kiriyal 
Hi, Karibuni sana sana to the second session. And uh, I want to, something has just been bugging my mind this entire time. I think I have never seen a time where everyone has to really take charge of every aspect of their lives than this time. Mm -hmm. I think, because um, there before, I, I knew uh, what I need to take charge of is really just my job, because eh, anyway, HR might summon me. And uh, I left my spiritual uh, my spiritual life most of the time to my pastors on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I know they'll sort me out. I know Temple of Praise will come sing praises of for me. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it's really time. I think this time has really challenged us to to know, to really step into into the shoes of being a priest as mm -hmm. uh, as the word of God tells us in Peter. You know we are a royal priesthood. Mm -hmm. And Chairman, I'd want you to talk about how can young people stay grounded mm -hmm. and not delegate the duty of their spiritual nourishment mm -hmm. to their spiritual leaders. How can they stay yeah. grounded in prayer? Mm -hmm. How can they stay grounded in the word of God mm -hmm. and in fellowship? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you know there's that personal relationship uh, with God. Mm -hmm. You know when you got born again, uh, you, you did not get born again on behalf of somebody. Yeah, true. Neither did your parents do that on your behalf. Mm -hmm, very true. So the fact that you are born in a Christian family, it doesn't mean that you just override. Of course, there's that advantage of belonging in that family. You benefit <laughs> yes. from their prayers, uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but there's that personal relationship with you mm -hmm. and God. Yes. Because the Bible says that we have been called into fellowship with Christ. Okay. So what is your standing between yourself and God. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that is going on? Mm -hmm. And actually these times, uh, they are a, a very big test, you know, to that. Yeah. And that's why if you've not really grounded that personal relationship with God, yes. it might really be a struggle. Mm -hmm. But thank God of the grace, you can still revive that yeah. uh, relationship. Yes. So the first thing mm -hmm. is about prayer. Yes. Because in life and relations, people mm -hmm. communicate. Mm -hmm. So how do you communicate with God? First of all, do you normally communicate to God? How how do you talk to him? What, mm -hmm. what are some of these things yes. that you actually talk uh, to God about? Yes. So that is the first thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the Bible says when Jesus was teaching his disciples how to, to pray, mm -hmm. you know, he told them, you go to your inner room, then you close the door, yeah. and then you, you pray. Yes. And I think these times, mm -hmm. they've really, you know, um, um, uh, brought up that, that moment mm -hmm. where even if you're alone, yeah. but you can still go back to your room, get on your knees mm -hmm. and, uh, and pray. Yes. So there is a position for that uh, personal prayer and the personal uh, um, um, a relationship with God, which yes. you now need to exercise now. Mm -hmm. So prayer is really uh, important. Yeah. Then the second thing, of course, it is uh, the word. Mm -hmm. And you know, the word of God, it, 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 it is wisdom. Yeah. It, it tells us what uh, to do mm -hmm. when we are, we are, we are, we are, we are stuck. Yeah. It, 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 it gives us directions. Mm -hmm. True. And I know um, um, Jeremiah said, you know, I, 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 I ate your word. Mm -hmm. it, I, I, I thrived on it. It mm -hmm. sustained me. Yeah. So the word of God can actually sustain you mm -hmm. during this uh, difficult moment. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you come and say, hey, today I'm not working. So what's going to happen? I'll not get, you know, paid at mm -hmm. uh, the end of uh, the month. Mm -hmm. But the moment you read God's word, I know God tells you, you know, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. Yes. That, you know, do not be anxious. Mm -hmm. But in everything, you know, with supplication and thanksgiving, make your request known to, to God. Yes. So that one gives you a reassurance. Mm -hmm. That in as much as the times are difficult, I'm not working, I'm mm -hmm. not earning. But when I come to an end, there's somebody who will actually mm -hmm. hold me through. Yes. There's somebody who will sustain you through. Yes. So the word is mm -hmm. really uh, very, important. very important. Very true. Uh, then the last thing, fellowship. And fellowship. Now, fellowship, the fact that churches have are, 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 are been closed down, mm -hmm. it is not a stop to, to fellowship. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why many churches have really been creative through the online uh, platforms. Yes. Like here uh, at Liberty Christian Center, mm -hmm. you know, our services are aired every Sunday, mm -hmm. you know, from uh, 9. Yeah. Uh, so it is important for you to really plug in mm -hmm. and uh, just tune in and uh, and listen. Mm -hmm. But over and above that, yeah. even the home Bible uh, mm -hmm. meeting, the Bible studies, they are still ongoing mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. Now, as you, as I said, the closure of our physical meetings has not uh, closed, or rather has not stopped fellowships. Mm -hmm. So even that one can still uh, happen online. Yes. So when people send links on Zoom, uh, please plug in. Mm -hmm. And if you've got nothing to say, as I said, just listen. Yeah. Just plug in, 
you know, put on speaker mode and just listen. Even if people don't see you, but at least you are there. <laughs> yes. Your presence true. is manifesting. Mm. Yes. And uh, you are, you'll actually gain something. Mm. Very true. Yeah. All right. So, so I think if you don't take anything out of this discussion, I please urge you to know, to just take uh, the words that our chairman has said, that you did not get born again on behalf of anyone. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really that time to take charge of your own spiritual, mm -hmm. of your own spiritual journey. Sawa, sawa. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now, um, just to take us in a different direction, Dr. Tari, mm -hmm. uh, these times, yeah, uh, people are undergoing a lot of uh, a lot of change, and we know with change uh, comes a lot of resistance and comes a lot of other unforeseen things mm -hmm. that are say that are sending a lot of young people into having stress, mm -hmm. having some of them to the point of just depression. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, just before you tell us how we can cope with those two, mm -hmm. would you just distinguish uh, for us what's what's the distinction between stress and being depressed? Okay. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. So basically, I think everybody here has undergone some type of stress during this period. Mm. Okay. And it's allowed, first yes. of all. It's okay to feel stressed. Yeah. And it's a normal reaction to basic things of, in, in life. Huh? Yeah. So basically, uh, stress is basically a, a feeling of uh, feeling too much mental or emotional uh, pressure mm -hmm. because of something, either because of financial issues. So you're emotionally uh, feeling underwhelmed or yeah. overwhelmed. overwhelmed. Uh, so basically it's a feeling of emotional overwhelming mm -hmm. or basically feeling too much pressure from either even mental issues as well mm -hmm. uh, but now when it comes to depression it's basically a bit different mm -hmm. whereby for depression it's a low feeling or mm -hmm. a low mood mm -hmm. that occurs over several even several days or several weeks even two mm -hmm. years for some people yes. so basically a stress is only just for a moment mm -hmm. or sometimes it can be a week mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. uh, but you, you are able to move away from it yeah. as from depression it's a bit different mm -hmm. uh, as for depression you find some, someone who is depressed they hide themselves in a cocoon mm -hmm. and they don't want to express themselves or yes. talk about it mm -hmm. and they even feel more guilt mm -hmm. of, the, of their situation mm -hmm. such that they cannot be able to reach out okay, okay. so depression it's somehow a cycle whereby you don't want to get out not, not yourself, but mm. I think it makes you feel you can't get out of it. Okay. Yeah, so that's the, the difference between the stress and depression. depression. Mm. Yeah. And now just to to help us here, yeah? mm -hmm. I think we've seen what there are a few things that could cause young people, and especially yeah. in this time, yeah. um, to be depressed or mm. to have stress. Mm. So what can you recommend to our young people who are viewing us uh, as coping mechanisms mm. to these things? Mm. I think one of the main things uh, in this period is yes. to stay in touch. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. think that has really helped, especially mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Uh, I am a very <laughs> social person, so if I don't see people or yes. I stay in the house, yeah. I feel a bit uh, dull. Uh -huh. okay? yeah. So even one, one of the things, basic things, actually, when you're staying in the house for long, mm -hmm. the lack of exposure to sunlight by itself can mm -hmm. make your mood be depressed or rather yeah. change. Mm -hmm. So I think one thing, I know we have been told to stay at home, mm -hmm. but you can also always go to your balcony, go downstairs, get some sun, yes. and come back to the house. It will change your day. Yeah. The other thing also in terms of stress is reaching out to your friends. Mm -hmm. Call them. If you're unable to call them, text them. Mm -hmm. There is WhatsApp, there is Facebook, there is yes. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Do something, okay? Mm -hmm. The other thing also is to do something that makes you feel happy, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I found... Uh, I was discussing with Tesh the other yes. day, and she tells me how she wakes up. She's in the house, but mm -hmm. she wakes up and dresses as, as if she's going to the to office. Yes. And she applies <laughs> makeup, and she. Yes. I was like, hey, that's a good idea, and but it worked. <laughs> yeah. Because you wake up early and you do your exercise yeah. and you prepare and you sit down and you're like, I'm going to have good a work. good day today. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you sit down with your lap, even if you're not going to sit down for a long time. Yes. It changes everything. Okay. It does. So basically, doing something that you love. If it's yeah. baking, yeah. Uh, if you like baking, you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the time actually to revive your whole, oh my God, hobbies. your old <laughs> hobbies. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 your whole hobbies, yeah. So basically, I think it's the time to go find the books that you used to love reading. Yes. Yes. Uh, refresh on those things that you, if you used cook. to, yeah, you can cook, write mm. poems. If Learn you, a yeah. skill. Yeah, basically, it's a time to do the things that you yeah. yes. used to like mm. to do. All right. Yeah. Mm. Maybe okay. if I add on that also. Yes. Mm. I think also... We should also minimize uh, the news, eh? because oh, yes. I remember when the, <laughs> the pandemic started. For sure. You no, know, you look up in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
after a devotion, then you just watch, you know, CNN. You get depressed. Yeah, then, you know, you hear reports, you know, people are dying. Thousand people. And not just one people, two people. <laughs> in, uh, thousands of them. <laughs> yes, in and a that day. one can really be depressing. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it is also important mm -hmm. that uh, regulate. Yes. Don't expose yourself to so much mm -hmm. of this news mm -hmm. where they are announcing yeah. how many people have mm -hmm. really died. Yes. yes. That one can uh, really mm -hmm. depress you. Very true. But as the way Dr. Vicky has said, mm -hmm. I think also adjust. Do mm -hmm. informal yes. things. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I didn't know that I could be able to write. No. So <laughs> sometimes. You have revived. <laughs> yes. Are we writing poems? And he's poems. a good poem. I've yes. written uh, three poems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, so you can, right. you, can, you can paint, yeah. mm -hmm. you can, you can, you can mm -hmm. cook, you can yes. garden, you can jog around. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that will actually revitalize you. Yes. Yeah. And lastly, maybe yes. just one thing. I think yes, also another thing is to challenge negative thinking, mm -hmm. even in this situation. So yes. basically, as, as you say, there is a lot of information out there of people dying and mm -hmm. how many, as in every day we have been updated, how many have succumbed to yeah. this disease. Mm -hmm. But I think also it's yes. good to be positive thinking mm -hmm. and also knowing that God is on our side yes. okay? and I think every day you just wake up and say God is by my side okay mm -hmm. and just continually thinking about good thoughts that yes. God has good plans for you mm -hmm. plans to prosper you even in this time yeah. and that you shall be prosperous even after all this very yeah. true yeah. Mm -hmm. yes and just uh, to just as, uh, as we take a different direction I think for me there are times that it's been very hard and uh, I'm like now maybe this thing might end next year 2022 <laughs> you know and yeah. I'm like ah uh ah -uh. Yeah. What about all the plans I had? Mm. Yes. And I think I'm reminded of God's word mm. that says God God is not a, a son of man that yes. he should lie so, to us, you know, mm. or go back on his word. Yeah. And uh, I remember the words of prophecies I've received mm. on this altar. Mm. And I'm like, God says all that we should believe in, in yeah. his prophets, you know, mm. and he will prosper us. I'm mm. like, God, you cannot lie to me. Mm. So I know for sure that this will pass yes. and that God God's word will surely come mm. come to pass. Mm. Sawa, sawa. Mm. And uh, back to money matters. Eh? I like money matters. <laughs> I like money talk. <laughs> sawa, sawa. And uh, our very qualified uh, panelist here was talking to us about budgeting. Mm. And I think a lot of young people, when they hear budgeting, they hear, they what they, that come the first thing that comes to their mind is kuji finilia, mm. a being stingy. Mm -hmm. But away from that, it's really not about that. <coughs> and uh, just to break down a simple budget, mm. um, for me, how a simple budget looks like is you know what you're earning at the very top uh, yeah. of of a simple budget would be that's what you're earning mm -hmm. and you know that you have so you just list down your compulsory expenditures mm -hmm. you know the things that are compulsory for you you know your rent is compulsory mm -hmm. if you're a tither you know your tithe is compulsory mm -hmm. offering is usually optional you can juggle with your god here and there <laughs> depending on your thanksgiving levels and levels of faith mm -hmm. and the other things that are compulsory then you have a section where mm -hmm. it's just things that fluctuate from time to time mm -hmm. and then you have your luxuries who at the end of it mm -hmm. uh, and and then, for me, I usually say, there's an emergency fund somewhere. Mm. And that's what I want our panelists to talk about. Uh, looking at a budget, what, what is an emergency fund? And what can you tell our, our listeners about an emergency fund and its importance? Thank you, Tesh. Yes. Uh, I think the discussion is quite uh, interesting. Um, and I would start with uh, telling or talking to us as young people uh, we think that saving is for our old pack or our parents. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, starting saving as simple as 20 bob, mm -hmm. it goes a long way. Mm -hmm. yes. uh -huh. I'm telling you if, you, if you do your maths well, mm -hmm. uh, you would find saving 100 bob, say, a, a day, mm -hmm. to long, to, uh, each day for, mm -hmm. for, for a year, yes. to go a long way, mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, more than just having that money and spending it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you talked about um, an emergency, emergency fund. fund. Yes. That is uh, money that you keep aside mm -hmm. that you don't touch whether in hard times or not. Mm -hmm. you, you, you try to maneuver with whatever you have, yes. but you keep it intact. Yes. So, uh, which I know it's most of the time is quite difficult. <laughs> yes, it is quite difficult. <laughs> it's, it's like a fixed account. I mm -hmm. mean, somewhere where uh, others call it the crisis account. Mm -hmm. it, it's a place where exactly. it's, it's, a, it's a, an, uh, an account where you put money that mm -hmm. you tell yourself, I'm not going to touch this. Mm -hmm. Come rain, come sunshine. Yeah, and that's yeah. why even in the beginning I was saying, <coughs> mm -hmm. if you have saved, yeah. 
you may not have saved in that uh, uh, crisis account yeah. mm-hmm. but if you have saved mm-hmm. please do not touch it if you are not doing the most basic and critical very critical things, things. Yeah. yes let it stay there mm-hmm. there are times where you will need it and that money would be very essential for example right mm-hmm. now you are forced to go on a forced leave where you're not paid yeah mm-hmm. that money would help you to mm-hmm. to pay the essential things like rent yes. buying food yes, 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 in this yes. time of critical mm-hmm. need yes. so if you have it please have P- yeah. please do not touch it right now until mm-hmm. it starts yes, yes. <laughs> at that, yeah it's, it's at that uh, uh, peak point yeah. Yeah. and if you do not have mm-hmm. please right now you're only paying your rent and if you're working from home like some of us you're mm-hmm. not using fair yes. mm-hmm. that fair make it so make sure that you save it somewhere put it somewhere, somewhere. Put yes. it, somewhere. it will mm-hmm. help you yes. uh, in 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 the coming mm-hmm. in the near future yeah. mm-hmm. so again i would say um, mm-hmm. uh, something that as dr vicky said mm-hmm. We are so used to 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 having um uh, she talked about us having um well doing what we like yes. and I would tell you if yeah. you love KFC please yeah. google how to make KFC in the house yes <laughs> why do you have to go to KFC in the house honestly yes. you can actually make a crazy chicken in yeah. the house yeah. Very true. so we are yeah. talking about saving yes please that money that should go do a pizza I've seen mm-hmm. my know. friends are doing I would also want to do a pizza in the house yes you don't need to go and buy mm-hmm. that so with with us trying to cope with our stresses mm-hmm. actually we are saving mm-hmm. so try let us try to save all right. as we cope with okay mm-hmm. all right so, so and i think the one tip that someone told me was saving should not be your last resort mm-hmm. after you have spent Spend everything yes. Yes. now saving should actually be your an expenditure item yeah. on your budget, your budget yeah. exactly you see the way you say i spent a uh, food yes. nini nini yes. Yes. then hapa yes. kuna karimenda hapa kenye sasa unaweza enda ujibambe bambe nayo <laughs> that should not be what you save yeah. saving should be an expenditure item up or june mm. and uh, just to close and uh, as we close just before we wrap up um financial matters i'd want just um, as faith touches on two maybe you, you you the two of you can also think yeah. what are some of the practical ways young people can cut on spending during this time just two tips straight to the point how can they cut on spending this time mm-hmm. one of said mm-hmm. we love leisure mm-hmm. we love having fun mm-hmm. That money that you spend mm-hmm. going to buy food in the KFC. Maybe mm-hmm. you're living alone and you so you you feel you feel lazy of cooking. Mm-hmm. Please buy ingredients, Google yeah. and cook. Yes. That money that you'd have you'd have spent buying that food, mm-hmm. please save it. All right. Mm-hmm. Save it. Another two, tip. Mm-hmm. Two, I would I would I would I would advise us as mm-hmm. young people when a time where uh, too much is happening. Mm-hmm. So leisure to a candle mm-hmm. please don't buy new shoes and new clothes <laughs> right now mm-hmm. unless mm-hmm. it's that needful you know mm-hmm. Is it needful where are you going? I know. <laughs> you're in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you're staying All with right. your parents, mm-hmm. if you're staying with your parents, mm-hmm. you're not paying house rent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not sometimes you may not even buy food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please sit down with yourself. Mhm. Write down what you think is quite important if you're going to work. Mm-hmm. Put a percentage of how much you will spend on your transport mm-hmm. and the rest save. All right. Instead of mm-hmm. knowing that you're living a, a, a mm-hmm. we call it a free mode zone where mm-hmm. you are like yo I don't have Very anything. true. Oh. Yeah. You know? So please let us let us look at what is essential. Mm-hmm. Let us avoid leisure. Okay. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So that we are not we are, we are not caught at a fix. We are, we are Very not true. Into to uh, post mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. after corona COVID, yeah corona we yes. were able to cope yeah, we are stuck. We are, yeah we are yeah. stuck mm. all right mm. so so you had it so put it down on paper mm. put it down on paper put it down on paper mm. Mm-hmm. don't budget in your head so <laughs> one tip each dactari and uh, and chairman as we as we wrap up to go on a break i think i'll just mention one and yes. i think at this particular point i would urge all of us uh, if you can avoid mm-hmm. the borrowing apps Thank you. <laughs> the Tala app. Thank you. The, mm-hmm. what, what else is there? Ensuring. The market branch. Ensuring, the, all of those. Because at, at the moment, we don't have, the, if you don't have especially an, a, a flow of income, yes. this is not the time to be using those apps. To I would actually debts. advise yeah. and install all of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you really, really need money, ask some, you can actually ask somebody mm-hmm. who might not even ask you for interest, okay? Yeah. Or even ask you to return. But honestly, this is the time not to use such kind of apps because they mm-hmm. put you at debt. 
Yes. And with this uh, COVID pandemic, we mm -hmm. don't know when we are going to uh, resume back yeah. to normal or how our economy is going to mm -hmm. uh, turn out to be. Mm -hmm. And this is the time actually to be able to save and not to borrow more money. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, One mine tip. is very simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Must you eat three meals? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, I know, right. I know, I know. Staying in the, in the fridge. Mission uh, Punguza Kijiko. Yeah, so it's not a must that we eat uh, three meals. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think just take breakfast and mm -hmm. take it maybe late, maybe <laughs> at, at eleven. Lunch, <laughs> at eleven. And then dinner. Right, yes. You'll have served. All right. Lunch. Okay. Yeah. So, so thank you so much, our viewers, for staying tuned, uh, staying with us. I continue commenting down on the comment section below. We'll be answering your comments uh, once we round up. Uh, we are going on another musical break. So stay tuned. Do not touch that dial. Oh, my God. 
Aya, karibuni sana sana to our last uh, our last section and uh, I think there's so much uh, I think every time I open Instagram I'm seeing a challenge oh six weeks challenge <laughs> I'm seeing uh, people uh, posting abs and others you know yeah. and I'm like I thought people are visiting the fridge all the time <laughs> where, where are we? you know and but there's a lot of talk about healthy living mm-hmm. and uh, we can't avoid to touch on such an mm-hmm. issue so Dr. Ari, I want you to tell us how important is it is it for young people first of all to take charge mm-hmm. of their health and uh, what does a healthy meal look like? What does a healthy diet look like? Mm, true, true. I feel mm-hmm. you. Uh, I've been telling myself after <laughs> all this COVID-19 thing, <laughs> I, I, I want to have a different look than the way I entered this season. Yes. Uh, I don't want to be fatter or bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so at some all point, right. uh, it's really good actually to think about the health issues and mm-hmm. also fitness issues as mm-hmm. well. And also rest as well. Yeah, okay. uh, in this time, I think it's a point to be conscious about mm-hmm. our weight. Yeah. Meaning that since you don't you don't move around, especially mm-hmm. at work, yes. uh, we, we used to move here and there. Yes. But now you are confined to Within the kitchen, to the bathroom, uh, Santa house, Santa room. kitchen, Santa bedroom, <laughs> Santa balcony. And maybe balcony. let's say you have a, just a one bedroom, one bedroom house and that mm-hmm. is it you oh. don't have space to move around yes so there's a likelihood of actually growing bigger than yeah. you expected yes. to be yes. and your clothes not fitting in the in the next uh, couple of months <laughs> or not even fitting or through not, the door yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. All true. Right. So I think at the moment is conscious uh, di- diet mm-hmm. and also f- uh, exercise. Mm-hmm. I think one thing that has really helped me during this season, mm-hmm. or rather, I would recommend most people is mm-hmm. accountability, accountability when it comes to mm-hmm. exercise and mm-hmm. also when it comes to eating. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can have a friend who can help you mm-hmm. keep account uh, to be accountable, accountable to. Because yeah. I realize keeping fit. It's work, guys. It's yes, work. A lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of, and you really have to be really self-disciplined mm-hmm. and a lot of motivation, mm-hmm. inner motivation. Because mm-hmm. after two days, when your muscles are paining, you're like, "Oh gosh, no! This I'm is done. enough. For the, this is enough for the next two months." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. And then you leave it at that. But yeah. you need to just gain yes. some endurance and mm. know that you are able to yes. make it through. Yeah. So basically, I think it's accountability, mm. discipline, yes. mm-hmm. and also having good diet. Mm. Uh, and at this point, most people say having good diet is really costly. Mm-hmm. For sure, it can be costly. But I think sure. there are cheaper ways of even mm-hmm. having good diet. Yes. Uh, you can have skumariki, spinach. Mm. Uh, for your starch, ugali is still there. And you can mm-hmm. have ugali every single day. It doesn't yes. matter. <laughs> Gideri, my friend, it has proteins, it has the carbohydrates Everything. and it has also and the avocado. won't be constipated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These people of KFC, this one, yeah, they have no veggies in them. So yeah. Yeah. at least you have a, 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 a good diet Balanced Balanced that, diet. Is, that is actually manageable in terms mm-hmm. of your pocket yes. and pocket friendly as well. Very true. You don't have to start eating broccoli at this point mm-hmm. and looking for zucchini. <laughs> zucchini. And, oh, and my yeah. friend, gosh, your yeah. pocket will be... <laughs> You will rob the bank. You will rob the bank. But it's time just to use the thing that you've been using. Mm -hmm. uh, Because you actually look at your pocket and you're like, uh, if I'm able to afford this thing, Mm -hmm. well and good. But if you're not, please go back to whatever you, you're able to. Yes. And uh, there are very many uh, friendly uh, things that we can actually be able to take mm-hmm. during this season. Mm-hmm. Yes. And lastly, I think I also want to advocate for uh, rest. Mm-hmm. It is a good time also to rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, now that you're working from home or you're not working at all, mm-hmm. also it's a good time just to sleep enough. Mm-hmm. Don't spend a lot of time watching t- movies exactly. from 8 a.m. To 8 a.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please, it's a good time to rest because even when you don't rest, you add more weight. Yes. That's the other thing. And you also mm. get uh, stressed fatigued. and fatigued. Yeah. And that, therefore, you gain a lot of weight during yeah. that time. Yeah. Maybe just to add on. Mm. Yes. Uh, right now, mm-hmm. an orange is going for 10 bob. Okay. Mm. Mm. So please also remember to take It's the season uh, for oranges. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember to take fruits. Take yes. like advantage. Are, yeah. Most of the the, the citrus ones like yeah. the uh, water, not not rather, but lemon, lemon, yes. yes. uh, oranges, the oranges. Mm-hmm. melons. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, make sure that you take fruits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And exactly. I know we don't we don't like that. Mm-hmm. Most of this, this, <laughs> really, do we budget for that? Yeah. Yes. But you don't need to go for an apple of thirty bob. I know. You can't afford. Yeah. Just, yeah. just buy an orange. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a and, <laughs> <laughs> yes. and then you keep a match. And then yes. some fruit have come. Yes, uh, very true. All over. Mm. Yes. Bob. So mm. please make sure that you take mm-hmm. a fruit. Yes. To add on what uh, Dr. Vicky has said. Yes. And to add on that, you uh-huh. can tell them where they can, uh, you know, get them. Yeah. Marikiti. Yes. 
very well cheap. shopping is yeah. cheaper. Yeah, I know some of us we fear walking those those mm-hmm. and downtown actually, sites. I found, I found buying from supermarkets is actually very expensive. It's yeah. very expensive. Yeah. So if you're able to go to Marikiti, my friend, mm-hmm. yeah. put your gumboots. Exactly. And, go. Yeah. and I think the other <laughs> tip, the, the other tip I'd like to give you guys, yeah. it's now the time to promote that Mamamboga outside yes. your flats. Yes. I know you have been passing with your Kiburi to KFC and to <laughs> now is that time with your Jina Mamamboga. You yeah. just place your order and come and pick. Exactly, as you pick your skooma and everything else. So, and then, uh, just uh, very quickly, Dr. Ari, where can people get resources? Because I think people, when people hear about fitness, they're thinking the gym is too expensive, Mm. having a trainer is too expensive. Mm. The resources, where can they Mm. access free, cheaper resources Mm. to just keep a healthy lifestyle? So basically, I think there are very many platforms, as we've said, now that we are in the... Actually, this is the time online platforms have really been uh, used more yes, actively. Yeah. Yes. So we have YouTube. You can look for free YouTube videos. You don't have to subscribe and pay. Yes. There are very many free uh, YouTube uh, videos. Mm-hmm. There's also Instagram. You can yes. also find... Or you can tell somebody to send you a video. If they have already bought, mm-hmm. you can tell them to actually just send you via Bluetooth mm-hmm. or yeah. via email. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you don't have to really go and have a personal trainer because, my friend... You They're be very paying. expensive. Yeah, they're they're very, expensive. very expensive. Yeah, you'll be yeah. paying even their transport to come to your house. Yes. Yeah. So actually, there are very many f- uh, free resources out there. Yes. Even when you Google, you can actually find them. True, including yeah. apps. There are yeah. free apps out there you can download. Yeah. And there be your own personal trainer. As, as I said, and I will keep saying, mm. I think there has not been a time before where you have to really take charge of your own life. Yeah. Every aspect of it. You have to. You have not to be your own gym trainer. Mm. You have to be your own pastor. Yes. You have to be your your own everything yes. you know yeah. yes and now just um i think also just to touch on the importance of staying connected and how we can also help each other mm-hmm. uh, move through these hard times mm-hmm. is the importance of friendships and how to handle them during this time yeah. i think i had um I had someone say, uh, and I think a lot of millennials have this habit mm. of sita pigawacha ningoja nione kama nitapigiwa. <laughs> My friend, excuse me, are you the only one going through corona crisis? <laughs> you are not the only one. Sawa, sawa. Yeah. So pick up your phone call, yeah. pick up your phone, yeah. call up your friends, check up on them. Mm. Now when you check up on them five times and they don't check up on you now, <laughs> you mm. review your friendship. <laughs> but don't start testing people yes. at yes. this time. Yeah. 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 Yes, and then uh, Faith, just quickly, yeah. Touch on the importance of welfare mm. in uh, and belonging to welfare groups, and even just after this, maybe mm. maybe people were not taking those things seriously. But what can they do post corona and even during this time to be able to have strong welfare uh, welfare kitties or welfare arrangements and policies mm. that can support their young people mm. uh, during such times? Mm. Mm-hmm. It's 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 very amazing mm-hmm. that. Um, the welfare can really boost you. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether any of you is in Chama, but I'm in a Chama, and I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so at that time, time of the month, you could just... <laughs> yeah. So I would tell us, mm-hmm. it is not even for the young people alone, mm-hmm. even for our mamas. Mm-hmm. Yes. I have seen, there's a, there's a story I was reading mm-hmm. of a guy mm-hmm. who started a Chama with mamas, yeah. and that Chama helped him to buy a bus. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay. And I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yes. there are so many investment mm-hmm. uh, schemes that we have around mm-hmm. us. Yes. And if you do not have that 5,000 to send in a circle, mm-hmm. let's even say, start with your friends. Yes. We have mm-hmm. our high school friends, we have our church mates, mm-hmm. we have our friends around us, we have our workmates. Mm-hmm. Find a group that is together, yes. bring up, set up something. Mm. I know some of us are in them, and mm-hmm. you can testify of how good they are. Yes. Mm-hmm. You may not be giving 5,000 a month, mm-hmm. you may even be giving 500. Mm-hmm. There's another one that we used to give 100 bob, mm-hmm. uh, was it 100 bob every day? Uh-huh. So, in a month, how much will I have given? Around 30,000? Yeah, sure. 30,000. Uh-huh. Yes, 30,000. Uh-huh. There are others. Mm, Three thousand. There is another one we were giving a thousand bob mm-hmm. yeah. every week. Yeah. Mm. So in a in a week in yeah, a, 4, 000, in, yeah. a, in a month it's mm. four thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't feel a pinch because I was giving slowly, slowly. Mm-hmm. You know, you may not give like I was giving, mm. yeah. but I think it is as good as you starting from wherever you are. Mm. As as slow as or as as little as twenty bob. Yes. Mm. 
I have seen chamas mm-hmm. also uh, in where I was working mm-hmm. some some groups of uh, mamas would come together or even young people mm-hmm. and they would be giving 50 bob per mm-hmm. week 50 yeah. bob per week yeah. Yeah. this person is able to invest and even start up a business mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you're in that area please mm-hmm. Just look for a group that is together, yeah. people that you trust that you can do together, mm-hmm. start it. Mm-hmm. If you are a friend in the church, mm-hmm. it doesn't hurt to have fr- within mm-hmm. your yes. friends. Mm-hmm. As long as one, you mm-hmm. have rules and guidance uh, amidst that, mm-hmm. that we, don't, we don't find ourselves Yes, very true. So with okay. that, I think it's very important that mm-hmm. we, we, we would consider that it would... It, it it will help us it, go, it would go a long yeah, way a yes long way. and i think just so that we uh, i think also it's important for any organized group of people mm. you know that uh, there are always welfare dynamics that will always come up one way or another yeah. i think it's important now that it's really hit us hard mm. that uh, even post post this COVID-19 crisis, yeah. that we take time to really develop strong and sustainable welfare policies sure. mm. uh, that can sustain our young people. And I think now we are in a church setup, mm. and I think for us, what has really helped us, especially as a ministry, Youth for Christ, yes. uh, is we have a charity a charity accountability group, group. Accountability group mm. uh, that has been reaching out to people. Mm. And sometimes people can also be helped through the home Bible churches. Yes. And uh, just even beyond that, I think mm. it's really about time Mm. that we sit down and come up with very sustainable ways uh, that we can support our people Mm. as far as welfare is concerned. Mm. Uh, And now, Chairman, yes, yes, back to you. I think uh, generally there's a a great feeling of despair, Mm. a great feeling of, uh, I think, the uncertainty Mm. that is just going around uh, is causing us to be very, uh, to just give up, despair, to Mm. stop working on the dreams that we wanted to do, Mm -hmm. and um, how can you, what can you tell us that the word of God says to encourage the young people on how to manage fear number one mm-hmm. and how to stay hopeful and grounded? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay, first, before I answer that, yes. maybe just to also add something on the, on the welfare. Yes. You know, people are also fearful to open up. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Like, if I come and share with you, by the way, you know, last night I slept hungry. Mm-hmm. You know, I might feel like, uh, how will you think of me? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I think this is the time to open up. Yes. Mm-hmm. So do not die alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, reach out to people. Call. Yes. Maybe, by the way, things are really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Let people know. Yeah. It is. It is not seen. It's yeah. true. And it is not embarrassing because you'll mm-hmm. actually be. You know, you are. You are sharing out of a genuine case, mm-hmm. and you'll actually be be helped. Yes. So now back to the fear. Yes. You know, fear. Fear. Fear is. It is a mindset. Okay. Yeah, fear. It is. It is a mindset of mm-hmm. you know what you can't really handle. Yeah. Of what is not really clear um, in your mind. Yes. So, and the Bible tells us that, uh, you know, we should cast out every imagination that raises, raises itself mm-hmm. above the knowledge of God. So that is one thing mm-hmm. that you really need to, to do. Yeah. It is a mindset mm-hmm. that you really need to, uh, to deal with. Mm-hmm. And the best way to handle, to handle it, you know, you look at yourself. Mm-hmm. Who, who are you? Mm-hmm. Uh, what are your, your strengths? Mm-hmm. What are some of the things that you've really done so, so well and so, so mm-hmm. confidently. Mm-hmm. What are some of the situations that have come through and you really uh, conquered them? Mm-hmm. You realize that inside you there is some strength. Yes. You know, to be able to withstand mm-hmm. whichever challenge that uh, mm-hmm. comes through. Mm-hmm. So even during this COVID pandemic, mm-hmm. the fear is, 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 okay. is really there. Mm-hmm. But you understanding uh, who you really are, mm-hmm especially in God's kingdom. Mm. That is really very, very important. Okay. And also understanding who backs you, mm. who gives you your, 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 your strength. Your strength. Mm. Yeah. When you've gone astray, mm. you know, who reminds you that this is the path that you should be able to, mm. uh, to walk on. Yes. So conquering that faith is just self-awareness. Mm-hmm. Uh, who are you really mm-hmm. in God's kingdom? Mm. Yeah. And the Bible says in uh, Romans, mm-hmm. uh, Romans 8.15, yes. that you know we've not been called uh, into uh, a spirit of you know bondage and oppression, mm-hmm. but we have been adopted into God's family mm-hmm. by which we cry, Abba Father. Amen. So we do not need to really fear mm-hmm. because we belong to a higher kingdom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now that is really uh, deep and mm-hmm. uh, spiritual. Yes. So understand that you are in God's kingdom. Mm-hmm. God really. He understands all the troubles you've gone through. He understands, yeah. you know, everything that bothers you. He and he actually knows what is really next. Yes. Mm-hmm. So just fully 
depend on God. Yes. When you find yourself in that moment that you are really mm-hmm. fearful, yes. that's now when you really call God. Mm-hmm. And a very good example is Christ. Mm-hmm. You know, when he was almost being crucified at yeah. the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah. And you know, the premonition of what was going to happen mm-hmm. was really heavy on him. Yeah. <laughs> and the Bible says, you know, he just cried fell out. on the ground, face mm-hmm. down, and you know, he cried mm-hmm. to God, mm-hmm. Abba Father, if mm-hmm. it's possible, Take, uh, this, take cup this cup away from, uh, mm-hmm. from me, mm-hmm. but not my will, but your will, your will be, uh, done. be done. Yes. So that is a cry of desperation. Mm-hmm. So when you get to that point, you are, you are really fearful. Mm-hmm. Pour that desperation uh, before God. Mm-hmm. And you know, he's promised us, mm-hmm. in uh, um, that is uh, Psalms 50, uh, 15, mm-hmm. that you know, call me in your days of trouble and uh, I, will, I will come and deliver you. Mm-hmm. And another thing <coughs> you need to know is that uh, in this world, there are troubles. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't just think that every day things will be okay. Yeah, yeah it will yes. not be a smooth sailing all yes. through. Mm-hmm. And it's not a matter of if, mm-hmm. it's a matter of when. Because yes. mm-hmm. I remember God was speaking, when uh, God was addressing the children of Israel, you know, he told them, mm-hmm. when you go to war, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, when you see the chariots, mm-hmm. you know, the armies that are greater than yes. you, he said, do not fear. Yes. Because I'm the one who took you out of Egypt, so mm-hmm. I will also deliver you out yes. of this. So our hope must be uh, in uh, in God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right. And I think for me, I uh, just to add on that to encourage you, uh, there was a time, like when I was jobless, yeah? Mm. Uh, there was a word that really enc- used to encourage me the whole of 2019, and it was, it's about the birds of the air. Mm-hmm. Yes. God says, if I take care of the birds of the air, and they yes. wake up, and they do not worry, they don't worry what yeah. to eat. Yes. Mm. Why are you worried? You're mm. my child, mm. you yes. know? You're a child of God. Yeah. So, in your mindset, when you put that you're a child of God, and the responsibility of your life is upon the hands of a father who's all knowing, who's all loving, mm. yeah? he's a good father, yes. he will take very good care of you. Yeah. And as we wrap up, I'm going to give you guys just less than a minute to just to give your parting shot. We'll start with you, Dr. Tari. Okay, mine is just to say, uh, in this time, just look up to God. Mm-hmm. He's watching over you. And as Tasha said, the Lord, the Lord knows your today. The mm-hmm. Lord knows your tomorrow. Yeah. And he's with you. He's standing with you. And he's watching over you. Mm-hmm. And as we are more precious than the birds of the air, more yeah. than the flowers, mm-hmm. and God will clothe you. Mm-hmm. God will provide for you, so do not lose hope. Yes. And if you don't have anyone to talk to, mm-hmm. please, uh, below you'll find numbers to call, yeah. numbers to pray with. We can be able to pray with you. Yes. We can be able to give you some little bit of food if you're able to call mm-hmm. us. Wow. And I pray that don't be silent. Yes. Yes. Don't stay silent. Yes. Mm-hmm. We are here to help you. Yeah. Speak up. Yeah. Mm. So, Bona Chairman. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for me, just two things. Uh, mm-hmm. The first thing is uh, also... Learn some lessons. Mm-hmm. You know, this pandemic is opening up our minds to yeah. see things that we never, mm-hmm. uh, you know, thought of. Yes. Like, you know, this online thing. I think this is going to be the next big thing. Yeah, true. Very true. Yeah. And it already is. It, it's, it is. It's already is. Yes. Yeah. So the virtual environment. Mm. Yes. And even personally, I'm trying to see what opportunities can I really yeah. be able to exploit mm-hmm. uh, out of that. Mm-hmm. So take some lessons. Yeah. Uh, the budgeting, I think you've been told. Yeah. Like, I think now we should be learning to just take two meals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's something. As a lifestyle. Yes, as, as a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And uh, you will not grow small. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but most important right now, as you've said, yes. uh, you know, personal relationship with uh, with God. Yes. I think out of everything, mm-hmm. it is just God is going to deliver us yes. uh, out of this. There is really mm-hmm. nothing else. Mm-hmm. So put that at the back of your mind. Every right. day you wake up, uh, 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 pray mm-hmm. uh, to, uh, to God to mm-hmm. protect you, to watch mm-hmm. over you. As you interact with people, as you maneuver your way through, yes. you know, the, the town, mm-hmm. just trust him. Yes. Uh, pray to him to, to protect you Very and to true. deliver you. Very true. Yeah. Asante sana bona chairman. Faith. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, 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 a, there's a meme I was seeing somewhere saying, mm-hmm. if, if you wanted to get married or you were supposed to get married, mm-hmm. then <laughs> it didn't happen. Yeah. It's a chance that God gave you to escape. <laughs> <laughs> then I escape or think twice. <laughs> okay. Very true. Very true. Yeah. Uh-huh. I will talk to all of us. Yes. You see this corona time. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to be your own boss? Mm-hmm. You can make it this time. Yeah. Right. It's the moment that you have yes. to re-strategize yourself, mm-hmm. yes. to, re- to, to, to recap, mm-hmm. to look at yourself very mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. You have a business plan? Mm. Develop it right now. Right. You have an idea? Mm-hmm. Develop it right work now. On yes. Work on it right now. You're not going to work. Mm-hmm. If you have skills that you need to learn, learn them right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Go to online. There are so many mm-hmm. courses. Yes. Please do them to improve your skills. Yes. So that when we finish, you are a better employee. Mm-hmm. You are a better boss of yourself. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. please do not stay home and sleep throughout. Mm -hmm. Yes, doctor said that sleeping is good, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, there's more to that. Mm -hmm. yes. Develop yourself right mm -hmm. now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we will see each other mm -hmm. very soon. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. All right. Thank you very, very much for staying with us. I hope mm -hmm. that we have touched on something that will impact your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for, from the many nuggets that you have had, at least keep one or two or uh, as many as you can be able yeah. to take home. Mm -hmm. Sawa, sawa. And uh, Victoria, as Dakari has said, down below you'll find numbers you mm -hmm. can call in case you need any help, mm -hmm. any assistance. Do not hesitate mm -hmm. to reach out to us. We'll be more than glad mm -hmm. to work with you. Please mm -hmm. remain connected. Mm -hmm. It's social distancing, but th that doesn't mean that our friendship and relationships sh should suffer. Yes. Yes. Sawa, sawa. Mm -hmm. Remain connected, remain grounded in God. Reach out where you need to. Mm -hmm. And uh, I pray that the God... Mm, mm. that we serve, mm. the God all-knowing, yes. almighty, mm. will keep you guys, will protect you guys, Amen. will watch over you, Amen. will watch over your offspring, Amen. will watch over everything that you touch, Amen. that it will be anointed to grow, yeah. that Amen. you will be blessed as you walk out, Amen. and that you will be blessed as you come back Amen. in. Amen. You will Amen. be blessed in the city, yes. and even the things that you left in shags <laughs> before the lockdown, yes. Yes. they They're will covered. still prosper, prosper. in the Amen. name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. 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 Hey, and may the nations call you blessed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Jesus yes, let this time be a time for you to reflect mm. and just grow yourself mm. and may you may you prosper amen. in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. 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 and amen. amen. See you next time. Amen. We will be talking to you in amen. the comment section down below. Mm. And you're not alone in this journey. Mm. Yes, amen. I'll ask our chairman to pray for us as we close. Mm. Mm. Okay, thank you. Let's pray. <coughs> our Father in Jesus' name, we thank you for giving us even uh, this time mm. to be able to, to fellowship, mm. uh, to talk to one another, mm. to encourage each other uh, through your word. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've been able to, to share. And I pray even for our brothers and sisters mm. who've been listening. Mm. Lord, I pray that may you visit them That's even uh, at this moment. Mm. Whatever difficult moment that, Lord, they are going through. Mm. We know that everything has got a season. Yes, and so even this pandemic, Lord, it has a season. Mm -hmm. And it's end, my Father, we are able to see it. And so, Father, I pray that may you encourage them, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Those who are feeling uh, so, so low, those who are depressed, my Father, mm -hmm. may you reach out, O oh God, and mm -hmm. may you encourage them today. Mm -hmm. I pray that, Lord, you will provide even for these yes, ones Lord. that are trusting you for, O oh God, yes, mm -hmm. that even they are not very sure of, you know, their are their, their jobs and their, their businesses. Yes. But Lord, you are the God who owns everything. Mm. And you've told us in your word that we should not be anxious about anything, but mm. with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving, mm -hmm. we should be able to make our requests known to you. Yes. And so, my Father, I present all their requests to you. Mm. Every need, O oh God, mm. you are able to see it. Mm. And this moment, my Father, we pray mm. that let your spirit move. May you touch them. May you deliver them. May mm. you cover them. Mm. And may you provide for them, O oh God, in mm. the name of Jesus. Yes. We pray that, Lord, you will also cover them. Yes. That they are going out and coming in, my Father. Mm. That it is you who will watch over them, my mm. God. Direct their steps, my Father. Mm. As they go through even uh, the, the town, Lord, mm. the workplaces, even in the public transport, mm. Father, Lord, I pray that you will cover them mm. and that you will protect them. No mm. plague, my Father, yes, shall Lord. strike any one of them down yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. I mm. pray for our brothers and sisters in YFC that wherever they are, Lord, may mm. you bless them. Yes, that let none of them lack anything, mm. for you are their shepherd, oh yes, God. Yes. And so, my Father, I pray that continue to even enrich our fellowship, mm. continue to keep us together, mm. and let us not suffer any loss out of this pandemic. Mm. But may we gain strength, may we gain resilience, mm. may we gain even um, self-control, mm. and may we even gain courage to be able even to face even more difficult circumstances, yes, O oh God. Lord. Father, we worship you and we give you praise. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for staying tuned. We thank you uh, for sharing this video with your friends. We still urge you to share it widely. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it anywhere that you can so that it can reach as many people as possible. And now tomorrow we still request you to join us for our online service right here uh, on Facebook and right here on YouTube at Liberty Christian Center, Redeemed Gospel Church. Now uh, we have a Sunday school service that starts at 9.30 a.m. and it's it's over by 10 so that our main service begins from 10 to 12. So please tune in for those. And for the teenagers, which we call them the majestic class, our class begins from 5 
5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Yes, yeah, so please tune in, uh, call your friends, and so that you can you can fellowship together. And now, don't forget to sanitize, to wash your hands, to stay safe, keep social distance, and what else are they supposed to do? And wear your mask, Safadali. God bless you. Yes, yeah, see you next time. Amen. Hey, 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 hey,